Welcome to church. This is the Harvesters International Christian Center Kids Zone Online Service. Woo! My name is Yoma and I'm so glad you could join us today. Well, I need to know, how have you been? How has it been staying at home with mom and dad and your siblings? How is it going? Have you been helping mom and dad with everything? Hope you've been studying too. I know you have. Great job, kids. Well, today I'm so glad you could join us. I promise we're going to have an amazing time. Woo! Now, if you just joined us for the first time, well, we want to specially welcome you to church today. And to do that, kids, we are going to welcome our newcomers with a special harvesters welcome. So I need you on the count of three to say you're welcome. Whoa! Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. You're welcome. Whoa! Great job. We are so happy to have you and we love you and we love you as part of our family. Okay, so I just need you to tell mom and dad to text new to the number on your screen, okay? Are you going to do that? Great job, kids. Now, at this point, before we go on with service, we need to do our three famous things the Abraham's way. And to do it, we are going to take it one at a time, like we're counting the stars in the sky. Are you ready? Let's do this. Great job. Okay, so number one, we have, okay, do you know it? Okay, let's say number one, I need you to go and call your brothers and your sisters if they're not already here with us. Number two, I need you to go and tell mom and dad to call your cousins and your friends so they can join us online. And number three, I need you to go and get your writing materials if you don't already have them. Okay, are you going to do all of this? Great job. So I'm going to give you some time to do it and we'll be right back. Bible tells us about Abraham is that he prayed to God so if you want to have a good relationship with God you have to pray okay so at this point I need you to please put down your tabs gently if you're using one I need you to take a prayer posture that is comfortable for you and I need you to close your eyes and repeat this word after me okay great let's do this in Jesus name I thank you, Lord, for my life. I thank you for my loved ones. I thank you for my church. And I thank you for our nation, Nigeria. As I hear your word today, Please grant me understanding. Help me to be a doer of your word. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Shout a big amen, kids! Great job! So, I need you to take your seat and we'll be right back. Great job, kids! So I hope you've been following us from the beginning of our series on Abraham. So far we've had Abraham's world, we've had Abraham's call, we've also had Abraham's test and today we have Abraham's blessings. Woo! Now if you haven't watched any of the previous series, please take our time to watch it, okay? 
Now, from the series, we've been able to establish that Abraham obeyed, trusted, and believed God. Today, we are going to establish that Abraham is blessed. I'm sure you also like to know who else is blessed, won't you? So friends, when I think of Abraham, one of the things that comes to mind in addition to obedience, faith, and belief is blessings. Oh yes, blessings. I'm sure you've heard that word before. Blessings simply means God's favor and protection. Well, did you know that God blessed Abraham? Yes? No? The answer is yes! God blessed Abraham. And it's not just because many songs say so, but because the Bible tells us so. So right now, we are going to see some of Abraham's blessings in this video. I need you to pay attention because we are going to identify and count Abraham's blessings, okay? your idols. Idols for sale. Elu, Utu, even Shah, Abraham. Lord of Haran. Abraham. <laughs> y yes. Get your family, pack your bags, and leave your country. Leave your father's house, and I will show you the land which I have for you. I will be with you, and I will be your God. I will bless you and your family with everything that you need for life, and I will multiply your family and make you into a great nation. Those who treat you kindly, I will treat kindly, and those who oppose you, I will oppose. But this is not only for you and your family. Through you, I am going to bless all the families of the earth. Abraham, look around you in every direction. This is the land I will give to you and to your descendants forever. I will bless you and multiply your family so much that counting them would be like trying to count every piece of dust on the earth. We're home, the land the Lord has promised to us. You can't water your flock here. This trough belongs to my master, Abram. Yeah? Well, my master Lot said we could, okay? Get lost. You know who these belong to, you selfish pig! Lot. The Lord has blessed us with so much life that this land can't contain us all. Choose the land you would like for your people. And we will settle in the other direction. If you go to the left, we will go to the right. If you go to the right, we will go to the left. I will take... 
that valley. May the Lord bless you and your family richly. Go in peace. Abraham, look. Stop right where you are. Who are you? Five kings. War. Everything is gone. <sighs> Be calm, my son. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Armies came from the north and took everything from Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, that's terrible. They took your nephew Lot and his whole family. Those who treat you kindly, I will treat kindly. And those who oppose you, I will oppose. Elisa, gather the man for battle! They have taken our family! And we are going to rescue them! Don't worry, the Lord has given us victory! God be with you, my son. Thank you. Abram, you are blessed by God Most High, the Creator of heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of God Most High, who has delivered you from your enemies. Ah, blessed be God Most High indeed, and blessed be His servant, His priest, and the King of Salem. As a token of my gratitude to God, I give you 10% of all the goods I acquired in battle. God has promised to bless me and my family with everything we need. We put our trust completely in Him. Abraham, don't be afraid of anything. I will protect you, and I will be your greatest reward. Lord, you have promised to make me into a great nation, but a great nation requires people, and you have not given me even one child. Look at the sky and see if you can count the stars. You can't, can you? That is how it will be with your descendants, and I will surely give you this land as well. There will be hard times. Your descendants will be taken as slaves in a foreign land for more than 400 years. But I myself will bring them back to this land I have promised, and they will live together in this place. 
Abram, I am God Almighty. Walk with me, love me, obey me, and live a blameless life. I am making a covenant with you, by which I am guaranteeing you that I will multiply you and fill the earth with your descendants. I am changing your name to Abraham, because you will be the father of many nations. And this is my promise to you and to your descendants after you. I will be your God, and I will be their God forever. I will give this land to you and to your family after you, and in this place they will be my people, and I myself will live among them. And as for your wife, Sarah, she is going to give birth to a baby boy. <laughs> I, I am nearly 100 years old, and my wife is 90. A baby? <laughs> a, a, a baby? Sarah will have a son about this time next year. And you will call him Isaac, and I will confirm my covenant with him and with his descendants. Ah, you are most welcome. My home is your home. Sit and rest for a while. L let, let me get you some food to strengthen you before you continue on your journey. Sarah, we have guests. Hurry and prepare some food for them. Next year, about this time, I will return to you, and your wife Sarah will have a son. <laughs> How could an old woman like me have a baby? Why did Sarah laugh and doubt my word? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I didn't laugh. <laughs> no, I heard you. You definitely did laugh. Lord Abraham, you have a son. <laughs> I will name you Isaac, because the Lord has given me laughter. Who would have ever thought that an old woman like me would nurse her baby, or that a man a hundred years old would become a father? <laughs> Good, Isaac. I'll take your arrow and notch it like this. Now make sure the bow is aligned with the target. Now aim. Excellent shot, Isaac. You'll make a great hunter. Just like Abraham. Yes, Lord. Take your son, Isaac, your only son, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on the mountain I will show you. Stay here with the donkey while Isaac and I go to worship the Lord. Father, we have the fire and the wood, but what about the sheep for the offering? 
The Lord will provide the lamb, my son. Get on the altar. You'll have to trust me, son. Close your eyes. I, I am nearly 100 years old, and my wife is 90. A baby? <laughs> <laughs> I will name you Isaac. Because the Lord has given me laughter. Lord, you have promised to make me into a great nation. But a great nation requires people. Abraham. Uh, here I am. Don't do anything to hurt the boy. Because now it is clear that you really trust in God. This is what the Lord says. Because you have obeyed me completely, by not even withholding your only son from me, I swear by my own name that I will surely bless you just as I have promised all along. Isaac, God has blessed me, and, and now I pass that blessing on to you. Walk with him, trust him, uh, and he will surely keep all of the promises he has made to us. identify and count Abraham's blessing? If you were, please share with us in the comment segment and live chat right now. We'll give you some few minutes to do so.
done everyone. I see your comments. So now it's time for you to see mine. So number one, we have lands. God bless Abraham with a vast number of lands. Number two, we have a son. God bless Abraham with a special son called Isaac. Number three, we have many descendants. Yes, we are all part of Abraham's descendants. And number four, we have protection. God protected Abraham everywhere he went. Number five, we have success. Abraham was a very successful and victorious man everywhere he went. Number six, we have the promised Savior who happens to be Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm sure by now you know that Abraham was a man that was really blessed by God because the Bible tells us all of this. So at this point, do you want to know who else was blessed? Do you? Well, if you do, then you have to pay attention because it's time for our memory verse. Woo! Our memory verse is taken from Galatians 3 verse 29 and it says, If we belong to Christ, then we are Abraham's seeds and heirs to the promise. Now, if you look at the first phrase in that sentence, can you see it? It says, if we belong to Christ. Now, the real question here is, do you belong to Christ? If the answer is yes, then I want you to dance and say, I am blessed just like Abraham. Woo! You're blessed just like Abraham because you belong to Christ. Hallelujah! So you see, belonging to Christ makes you Abraham's seed, which ultimately makes you a heir to the promise. Praise God! So friends, if you're not sure if you belong to Christ, don't worry, it's the easiest thing ever. If you've not given your life to Christ, I need you to say this prayer after me, okay? Are you ready? I need you to close your eyes and please repeat these words after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Please forgive me. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now help me to live for you and to experience the many blessings you have for me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Shout a big amen, friends! Amen! Great job! So now you have to be super excited because you belong to Christ now! Woo! Congratulations! Great job! I want you to work on your memory verse this week. I also want you to take out time to study your notes. And please always remember that you are blessed. I've had such an amazing time with you today. I can't wait to see you next week. Have a blessed week ahead. And see you next week when we start our amazing new series.